finally we are in the year 2021 happy new year everyone we have made it i know around the world everybody is excited that we are in the year 2021 we have gone through a lot in the year 2020 with the pandemic and the overall change of our lifestyle and even professional life how the pandemic has completely changed everyone on what they are able to do on their daily basis so welcome everyone this is Ernest Bonifaz Makulio IBM and I welcome you to my YouTube channel uh before each I mean before anything else I would like to say thank you so much for you for the journey we have been together in the year 2020 it was the year of challenges but we have been able to make a lot of videos a lot of uh, connection a lot of support of one another so we're in the year 2021 what are we up to so i have a few things as suggestion i would like to share is everyone we usually talk as friends and the people who want to support one another uh while we are excited and happy with the new year one of the biggest mistakes we do on our daily lives is we usually get too much excited for the new year and we ending up having so much hopes so much expectation of the new year we assume that everything is going to change because we are in the different year i have bad news for you on that the change of debt is not automatically going to change what the bigger challenges you have been facing you as you or the world as the world in general there are so many things will continue to be more or less the same as in the year 2020. The year 2020 had, with the pandemic, so many plans of people completely shattered. Uh, obviously, we have excuse now. Why I didn't accomplish, I had a New Year's resolution 2020, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I was planning to do. But then... I didn't do them. Now I have excuse. Oh, I didn't finish writing the books. I didn't finish. Oh, I didn't get this job. I didn't get this one. I didn't get this one. I didn't get this one. I didn't, I didn't finish this what I plan to do. Why? Because of the pandemic. Maybe I was not used to stay at home. Maybe I was not used to do one, two, three. Maybe everything has changed. I was planning to travel. They stopped their travels. I was planning to perform. I'm a musician. We cannot meet and everything has changed. So, in the year 2020 so as i said the bad news is the change of debt does not automatically going to take out the challenges we have been facing as globe altogether through the pandemic i understand most of the developing countries have their own ways of dealing with the pandemic and those ways are appropriate in my opinion and are acceptable in those countries because of the social economic setup of those countries i can give you an example it will be practically difficult to have a full lockdown in developing countries to have a full work at home in almost all major jobs from home because there is no that setup there is no homes which have been designed in that way. The infrastructure is not designed that way. Internet, electricity, all those kind of things cannot be possible to operate from home. So there are certain ways they have to do to deal with the pandemic. But the ways you are dealing with them in your country or in your continent might not be necessarily the same as how other countries around the world or other continents deal with them developed world deal with the pandemic in a different way compared to the african context or asian context in america in europe australia new zealand the measures are taking them the lockdown they are taking the health restrictions and so many other things they are in the next level because the infrastructure is supporting those measures so what is the lesson is so while in the year 2021 when you are going to put your new year's resolution the goals the objectives you want to accomplish in the year 2021 you have to look on your goals you have to look on your objectives and all your plans for 2021 that are these plans which i want to do are they depending much on the western lifestyle 
Are they depending much on the Western economy direct? If they depend on the Western economy, on the direct that link, make sure that you are very careful going to assess or plan. One example is that this way. If, let's say, you have the tourist company, you, I mean, you have you 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 businesses in tourism, obviously that sector largely depends much on the Western economy and lifestyle. So if in Western sense or Western countries, the lockdown has still gone to continue there. The restriction has still continued to be there. Obviously, it will be practically difficult for you to reach your goals. So if your goals and objectives, whether in a personal way or in a professional way, in a business world, depend largely on the Western way of life and economy, you have to be very careful while you are going to plan those kind of things. I can give you an example. I started working from home on March 14th, 2020. The plan was to work for two months, then in July to go back to work. Then July was postponed to September. September was put to January, but the same after October, they say no, it is impossible, impossible to go back to January. Let's go back to June 2021. And that is a tentative too. So my point is, in the Western world, the measures are very, very different. The winter time, we are in the winter season in Europe and in America. But the winter, when it's in the middle of the winter, like right now in January, going February, March, is the flu season. And remember, some of the uh, uh, ways or association of ways to go away and uh, I mean, expose someone to this virus are also related to the flu. So if that's the case, the level, that's why they say they, they call it dark winter, that something worse will be coming. Because remember, when the COVID started, it was, I mean, in most Western countries, it was around March, April, around that time. That is when it was very strict. But it's already out of the flu season going to the summer. But now we are in the winter and going to the flu season of spring. So this will be very, very high. So the, what is happening in the world for the year 2020, in the heavy time of the pandemic, are most likely to go to be in the year 2021. So my point is, reevaluate your goals, assuming that everything will continue to be the same. The change of date to become new year doesn't stop today the pandemic to, 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 to die and start the new life tomorrow. But if your business, your goals don't depend on the Western, it doesn't matter. If, for instance, you are planting your maybe cassava or something and you are depending on the local market that has nothing much influenced by the western uh, economy you have no problem but if your goals for instance is to go for a visit in australia if your goal is to go you are planning to go uh for a honeymoon in uh in chicago obviously those kind of things might not happen so, and if you're a musician, you, are, you had a plan, a show scheduled maybe in the summer to perform at uh, maybe London, one of the big stadium or big club, those things will not happen because these measures will continue to be very strong, especially in the Western world, for a very long time. So, we have to be very, very mindful while we are planning our goals. That is the bad news. The good news is that we have experienced this pandemic. Yes, we didn't reach our goals. We didn't finish what we planned to do because it was abruptly. The world didn't know what is this kind of virus. The world didn't know how to handle it. Everything was shut down. But now we can, we have experience of that. The professionals know what to do. They know the measures. We know how to keep ourselves a little bit away from the trouble. So all these kind of things. So we don't have the same excuse of not reaching our dreams, not reaching our goals in the year 20. Uh, and what happened in the year 20, uh, 2020. The year 2020, we had excuse. We didn't know. But now we have all these kind of things we have experienced. Especially if you are working from home. You have experienced enough working from home. If it was about uh, the issue about uh, the scheduling, getting used to work from home, uh, supporting the family, everything. Now we get used to that. If you are planning to do the, to start like the online business, 
this is the time we have to find different ways so that is what i want to do like yes we, we the good news we have a very good experience of 20 with the west of 2020 so don't take the excuse and the challenges we have facing on the year 2020 to move them to the year 2021 let's find that the experience we had to take them in a good way to go to achieve on our goals so that is the biggest message i want to give that there is bad news but the good news is we we, we have resilience we have been able to overcome most of the challenges now we are here in the year 2021 let's not stop to reach our goals what we need is just how can we uh put our plans into the current situation and the, what i'm talking the current situation not just in 2020 what about in the year tw for the next five years? I can give you one example. Myself, I didn't plan to do PhD in my life. I mean, one time I wanted to do PhD, then I stopped my plan. I got admitted. I didn't do PhD. But at the beginning of the year, I was serious already talked to some of the universities. I want to do PhD. The purpose is uh, maybe down the road, five years to come, I was planning to start doing teaching from home online because something i want to move to live in the rural areas that means i can live wherever i want but working from home then the pandemic came one of the good things from the pandemic it has forced all the institutions it has forced everyone to work from home so for me this has been a very way of experiencing working from home full-time basis will this be a can i survive this is my entire life to work from home and if I wanted to do different jobs of working from home, will I be able to conduct this kind of life with supporting the family and everything? So now I'm very much sure than any other time before. My, now my time is I have to start PhD in the year 2021. Why? Because if I do PhD, I finish, I will be able to teach two universities or even three universities from home. Because there are so many opportunities of doing something from home. So you see now my goal has been compatible with the current situation i'm not going to go and find a job or to find it, uh, if i want to do phd or to do a program which will, fa will force me to be manually be in certain industry every single day if i want to do like i want to do the job working in the restaurant which i must physically be there if they they are going to be closed it can imp it, it can affect me but if i teach from on online it cannot affect me because people continue to be from home and they can, they can keep studying and these things are not going to change in the next 10 20 years so this is a new game changer so i have to go along i have to put in my goals basing on the new lifestyle which we are going to change so that is for instance on my case i have so many things i'm planning to do from the year 2021 beyond but that is one of the things i want to say let me share with you to see how are you going to in the new year's resolution what are you going to do for the 2021 but and beyond but bearing in mind that the covid effects will be here for the next 10 20 years to come the what has happened now is changing the economy and the way of how we conduct our business and our personal lifestyle our economy everything has changed so don't have any excuse. Find a way on how you can modify your things. If you're a student, right now you're at the university. Find a way to start a blog. Find a way to find online volunteering. Find a way on how to start a YouTube. Find a way, if you are a journalist major, start a way of writing featured articles, contribute. If you are dealing with, you are, you are, you are, you are a teacher, you are studying now. How can you start online tutoring, for instance? So all those opportunities like using Zoom, using YouTube, using blogs are free. How are you going to use those opportunities on your own advantage? Because in the end, you might not have opportunity to volunteer. You might not have opportunity to experience in a normal way. Now there are so many companies have online opportunities. It doesn't matter where you are in part of the world. Find those opportunities and try to access those opportunities. So thank you so much everyone and I wish you all the best in the year 2021 and beyond. This is EBM. In case you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Let's enjoy another ride for the year 2021 where we can continue keeping updating more videos, so much content of so many things we can be able to learn from one another. Goodbye everyone and all the best.